I think if anything, it's like finding ways to slow down, but we like we could call this slowing down, right? You're slowing down to play with an air dribble. This is good. We have the demo play, which is good. It's like I'm looking for maybe mixing up our transitions a bit, like how we move the ball up the field and mixing up like how we hold pressure. A little bit more fakes on offense. And that's fine. I just, it's kind of like we're very linear with how we approach the ball. If we're a first man, which you should go quick as a first man, but like I feel like the thought isn't crossing your mind to maybe fake this and go for like a cheeky ground play or catch it on your car. Like kind of like adding a diversity of how we slow down, whether it's through like an actual fake challenge or different types of control. Like a lot of the ways we slow down is just an air dribble, which is good. Keep doing that. But I feel like we could almost bait a little bit more, a little bit more fake heavy play style. Not to where you're always faking, but mixing it in every once in a while. Like when I watch you play, it's like, oh, you have space. You can go quick and you just bolt in there. And, and that could be like slowing down, baiting the corner on uh defense to kind of bait in an overcommit taking some 50s up the field um slowing down baiting the quarter on offense fake challenging the midfield there's a lot of different ways you could slow down but overall like getting a little bit more of a cheeky play style which will just further emphasize your fast gameplay i mean if, if you're a super fast mechanical player but then you could still mix in the slow play it's how your fast gameplay gets more threatening and the opponents just don't know how to guard you. And it's also taking this approach to where like you're not giving the opponents time to make a mistake. Like we're just going quick. So like when you go quick, you are easier to read. Right? If you go quick, they're going to defend quick. If you like approach a, pl a play like really quick and then slow down, like you might juke out the defender. Now we're just like instantly up for that ball. Like maybe a cheeky way to play this is don't jump for this and go for the demo on toaster on the goal line instead. So it's like you're fo forcing Kablooey to go up for the ball, give up his position, and then you demo the goal line, and then that leads into a goal. Which like picture this shot right here from Iconic was an open net because you demoed this player. So that's like the, the piece of depth to a play style that I'm looking for. That was an example of like an off ball play, like through a demo, but you could also do the same thing through like baiting corners or playing low fifties in the midfield, really trying to get the opponents to dive you. Go for this ball. I want you going for this ball, but maybe instead you act like you're going for the ball and you get the boost and then you quick turn around, cut and get the rebound. Okay, but like you see what happens from a defender's POV. You make it incredibly easy to defend. And I'm looking for like this depth in play style where I'm watching you play and I'm just like, oh, snap, that was cheeky. That was cheeky. That was really, really smart and creative to make that decision. This is just what's going to like separate you, I think. Because if you play like this, you're like every other player ranking through the game. Instead of going up right here. So like you go up, you get the redirect. And then this is fake to the ground, catch it on the ground instead of push it. Right? Instead of go for double. Very good play altogether. But just to watch from the defender's POV, you make it incredibly easy. And it looks like you just throw the ball away. But from your POV, that looked like really crazy mechanics. But like something incredibly cheeky to do would have been play your redirect on the wall and then imagine you fake to the ground. This player we're spectating hesitates and then that's how you set up offense. We could call it a uh, increasing depth of play style through, uh, through slow play, whether it's mechanics or, or a uh, challenge based, right? You know, maybe you're mixing it up with a fake or a 50. Maybe you're switching up your ball control and i like where demos are and you could think about like mixing up that speed through off ball plays like with a demo or a boost steal shall we fake this 
that player gets faked. Like we didn't instantly go up. And and then we go right here. And then it's like, okay, we lost our dribble, which I could understand like like we didn't catch it completely. So we have to like follow quickly. But then if we somehow baited this player in for a low 50, like see see how you're still trying to outplay this defender. You're trying to get it around. But you actually went for the defensive play, like the low 50. That's their third man. That that would have been the icing on the cake for this play. This whole play that we're going to score from create offense is slowing down. This is the harder thing to do, the actual more mechanically stressing thing to do. And then you bait in the defender. You get your one-on-one. -on -one. We still didn't do anything, which is fine, but that is the offense that scores. I mean, you could play ones. You could play twos. It just depends on the type of player you are. Players who struggle to slow things down in a 2v2 setting should play ones.